Michael. Hello, my name is Beth Carmichael and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Powell Elementary School. I'm also a member of the Empower Ed Teacher Council. I'm happy to be here today to advocate on behalf of DC teachers and families as well. I understand the value in a school rating system. Parents have a right to see a snapshot of the school that they will put their ch child in for years worth of their lives. Of course, the largest issue with any rating, rating system, particularly the, stars, the star rating system in DC, is that families are given a number to rank schools from, like I heard earlier. Families can only see a tiny snapshot that is given to them, a very limited overview of what each school looks like and has to offer. And then the number overshadows that snapshot. When talking with families from my school, I constantly hear what is important to them, none of which include a number that represents our school. They look for quality, happy teachers, rigorous curriculum, and opportunities for their children's social-emotional skills. As currently designed, the star rating system recognizes the importance of a school environment, but fails to consider the factors that truly lead to a positive school environment. Chronic absenteeism, attendance, and re-enrollment barely scratch the surface of what a school environment looks like. What about teacher absenteeism and attendance, teacher re-enrollment or retention? What about teacher-child interactions and relationships in grades that are above pre-K? Parents want to send their children to schools where teachers want to come to work, want to return year after year, and want to build long-lasting relationships with the families who will spend so much time with them. As currently designed, the STAR School rating system highlights the value of academic growth and achievement, but fails to value the hard academic work that teachers, families, and children are doing in their daily school lives. Are standardized tests really the only metric of academic achievement? What about all of the projects that students work on collaboratively in the classroom? What about the units that teachers adapt and modify to the, meet the multitude of needs of their diverse student populations? What about portfolio projects that families come, in, come and participate in, watching in real time the learnings of their children? We know that a variety of measures and assessments exist, and the STAR system doesn't begin to value the academic achievement our schools are really demonstrating. Families choosing schools deserve to know what really happens in the daily academic lives of their children, not simply a mandated statewide test. Instead, let's add some of the important work being done in our school's overall snapshot. Let's consider including a measure of pre and post assessments aligned to curriculum that teachers are using daily with children in schools. And let's consider too, the projects happening throughout the city like DCPS's Cornerstone projects. These types of projects Projects offer insight to the achievement of big learnings and collaborative efforts being made by our students. I also have an, another piece that you can look at further um, in, in the re record, but I want, you to, I want to urge you to, to two things. Expand the vision of the school environment to include other measures that families want to know about, teacher retention, uh, interactions with students, and also expand the snapshot of what academic growth and achievement looks like for families. Include projects and curriculum-based assessments that connect to real daily student learning.